Okay, so in this video, we will see how we can display data in uh, table visuals. So this is a visual available, which is known as table, and we will see how we can uh, show the data and then how it is different from comparatively from other visuals. So I'll open my uh, uh, previous report. You can see here, I'll create another page. Um, and uh, then in this page, so I will add, you can see here, this is a table visual is there. So once you click on that, uh, you can see here how it is appearing now. So we are going to add the fields on this. For example, first thing is I'll put, uh, let's say the customer name. You can see here how it is appearing now. If I'll put city, scroll down, you can see here how it is appearing. But now let me put uh, the quantity. So the moment I put quantity, you can see here, this is a total column also has been added. So it is showing the numeric field total. And then uh, I will add one more thing, the sales date over here. Uh, you can see here, now it is showing me um, year, date, month like this. So you can just click on that and then it, you can uh, go to the hierarchy and then probably uh, you can just select month and year so that's how it will come for example i will say year and month so if you'll oops we need to select this and uh, i did wrong so let me just remove this visual first of all okay now i'll come back to our original visual so i will add the sales date here on this i don't want this quarter i will remove date i don't want so uh, you can see here now it is saying which month and which date and then finally we can add the total cost so we can say this is the total cost that that is coming from that particular uh, um, uh, this one so all this so this is the total cost how it is appearing now this is how the table visuals looks like a lot of time what happened is uh, we can see this option we require to uh, see the overall structure how it looks like so in this case we don't we might not need to go and see the table because it has a lot of other columns and but if you'll see this one is having the limited columns which i want to see so apart from that also we can change the layout of this table so if i'll go to this format um, by selecting this visual and go to format then you can see here under styles this uh, for example i will say uh, bold uh, header so you can see here now it is bold header is coming so you have different options you can select flashy rows so you can see here how it is appearing so these styles we can uh, uh, we can actually change and uh, you can see here this is how now the uh, table looks like similarly there are some other settings are there uh, related to this table for example if i'll go here you can see grid is there so this grid is off i will make it on you can see here this grid is coming here uh, then vertical grid thickness if you want to increase you can see here uh, this is increased and uh, the outline color these things we can actually uh, change it similarly the column header if you see here now the column header is coming in the uh, uh, white color the background color is uh, black so you can change it so now you can see here the background color got changed and uh, so outline also you can see here top only so you'll be able to see on the top only so this uh, this kind of things you can see here which we can change uh, these things similarly the values from uh, the total how it is appearing so if you don't want to display the total then you can make it to off so the total will go so uh, if it is on then uh, for the uh, numeric fields it will come and uh, similarly the field formatting if you go here you can see here customer name if you want to have any other color on that so you can set it so you can have this uh, uh, this option which you can uh, use it here and similarly there is there is uh, um, uh, um, there is conditional formatting is here where you can set uh, uh, the city let's say you want to have the background color something so you can actually come here you, you, will, you will be able to add it uh, on this one so that um, so for example 
let me take one more column which will be a numeric column then we i can show you so if you'll see here the quantity so if you'll see here the quantity so you, you can uh, go to the advanced section now you can see here quantity and then uh, so if it add uh, you can see here so the minimum value we can uh, put in this color and the maximum value we will pay uh, will put uh, on this color so i'll click on ok now you can see here the mean value and uh, the max value it has been put in that color you can see the color variation over there so uh, uh, the minimum value will be in that color so you have this option so it will we vary from this column to this column probably if i'll make it to green or something then you'll be able to notice so it is actually based on the values so it will gradually change the color will change and then finally you can see here the max color is like this so you can also make this conditional formatting over here so this way you we can use the table and uh, this is some sometimes this is also a good way to uh, display uh, the overall uh, structure but obviously if you, there is more data more calculation will be there then we can use other visuals